I feel like you guys are cleaning house. You're walking away from someone here. Someone feels that you are leaving them behind physically or energetically here. Whoever this person is that you're leaving behind, this person is aware that you're leaving them behind, okay? Whether you're speaking to this person right now or not, you could energetically be cutting the cord. There is definitely some physical or um, emotional distance <laughs> between you and this person with the walking away energy, house clearing, and wolves in sheep clothing, okay? Make sure you guys are doing what you can to cleanse, cleanse your space and clean, clean your space. Get some fresh air in, light some sage or light a candle, say a prayer, whatever it is that you do to cleanse your energy. Make sure you're doing that, okay? Because that's what I'm getting. It's like opening some form of door here and just allowing some fresh air to come in. You know, after you light sage, you, you got to open a window or a door if you don't know that, okay? To let what needs to leave, leave. So just so y'all know, I know a lot of y'all know that, but some people don't know that. So this is you in this energy of you walking away, minding your own business, walking into your greatness, I feel, and bravely leaving behind what no longer serves you. This could be a person for sure, but I definitely feel like you're stepping into some form of new beginning here. You're in a transition period, a time of healing. I feel like I'm talking to someone here, male or female. You've been healing for a while. You've been doing your own thing. You've done the shadow work. You know that every experience is an opportunity for a new beginning and it's also an opportunity to learn something new. Like I, you get that and you're ready to just move forward. Right. But there's somebody here who like does not want you to go wolf in sheep's clothing. This is somebody here who appears to be nice. This could be a family member, a friend, or a, love, a past lover. We'll, we'll, we'll tap into this energy and see who this is. This is somebody who might be very attractive on the outside. This could be somebody who's, you know, nice. They seem nice. They might be doing nice things for you, but someone here has some bad intentions. They may seem innocent, but they, they have motives. So just be aware. Exercise caution, caution and use your discernment here when dealing with this person. <clears throat> but I feel like you already know that because you're in this walking away energy. All right. So show me here. What else for the collective? What else do they need to know? Mm. Yeah. Awakened and multiple options. So y'all are like doing ooh soulmates on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's going on. So you have a karmic in your energy, right? Who is this wolf in sheep clothing energy? And then here you are walking away. You're awakened, right? You know what's going on. You're very cognizant and aware of what is going on and who is who, okay? And you literally, you're having some form of awakening. This is good. Now, I'm going to also tell you this. This person in wolf's a wolf's and sheep's clothing. This person definitely could be somebody that wants to come towards you that you walked away from in the past and be like, oh, I've changed. I've awakened. I know who I am now. I know who you are to me. I love you. Be careful with that energy. OK, be careful with that energy. But you, you have more than one option here. Multiple options. Again, spirit is saying use your wisdom, use your discernment. You know who is who. Do not allow somebody to confuse you collective okay uh your path is going to be rich with choices this new path that you're walking on is going to be fruitful and abundant with a lot of cho choices and a lot of potential so you're on a new journey here and this is good all you have to do is listen to your heart and choose the right choice with intention right because uh, each choice where regardless of whether you choose there is no right or wrong it, it's just about learning right so i feel like you've learned a lot on on your path and like now a bunch of doors are getting ready to open up for you. A lot of opportunities are getting ready to come your way. And this is real good. Okay. A lot of you guys, listen, somebody from the past is in your energy here wanting to show their face and talk about this again. I feel like <laughs> almost all readings were like always talking about somebody from the past, past person this, past person that. <sighs> Not sometimes I'll be like, dang, do I need to just wait a wait a few days to give the collective another reading? Because I hate to keep talking about the same thing, but I have to talk about what energy is here. Spirit wants to know somebody to want someone to have their message. So but for a lot of you, you might have a new soulmate coming in, but we'll, we'll keep looking and see what else is coming in for you. OK, one of these people. is not going to be good. Remember, not all options are the best option for you. 
So keep that in mind. This might be a time where you have multiple options when it comes to dating. For those of you who are single, show me more hair for the collective. This could be multiple job offers. I just feel like doors and opportunities are coming towards you as you're walking away from something else. And it's supposed to be that way, okay? Dead end, definite ending. So like I said, you are walking away from something and something is over somewhere else. <clears throat> hmm. Spirit wants you to not hold on to the past and just continue to keep moving forward. Don't let anybody, especially this person in wolves of sheep clothing that's is in the center of this reading, um, don't allow this person to stop you from moving forward, okay? Because I feel like this person wants to stop you. They know you're moving forward to something bigger and something better. All right, what do we have here? Ancestors connection. Okay, so I feel like you have a connection with source and I feel like somebody else here does not have a, a connection to source right now. You have more, you might even be questioning your connection to source, right? I feel like all the work that you've been doing, you're finally walking away and releasing the past or releasing a certain person or a certain energy. And now you're in this alchemist energy. You may not even know it. OK, that you're in this energy of like you can uh, magician energy, basically you can manifest anything because you have a strong. Some of y'all might be seeing cardinals, red cardinals, birds, specific breed of birds that could be red. The red cardinal is basically a symbol of a strong connection to your ancestors. OK, you're an alchemist, so you have the ability to co-create and you have a direct connection and a direct line to your ancestors. So good for you. Therapy. Some of y'all been going to therapy. Good for you. I'm telling you, I felt like you were doing some shadow work here very lately. You've been healing. I feel like you've been on this journey for quite a while. And now you are in this transformation energy. You know what you need to do moving forward. You know what you need to also leave behind. So continue to trust in the process as you move forward. Just don't allow anybody from the past to try to stop you or slow you down. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, because I feel like you're on a path of self-discovery and healing. Continue to do that work. Show me more. Twin flame and sneak attack. I don't like this. Twin flame and sneak attack. This, I'm going to clarify this in a second. <clears throat> Remember I said you're getting ready to have multiple options, right? Multiple choices. I feel like you got some good people in your energy, some good options in your energy, and you have some options just are just supposed, you're just supposed to pass by. You're not supposed to stop and refuel and say hello. Like, no, keep, keep moving. Okay. Cause there's a twin flame. I'm going to clarify twin flame in a minute, but we have sneak attacks. Stay vigilant, prepared for unforeseen challenges as they may arise. Protect your spirit and seek wisdom and quiet contemplation. Remember the sober mind, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. So there's somebody here who's claiming they are not who they are. They're claiming they've changed. They're claiming they're a good person. They are claiming they've had some form of awakening. This person could even be claiming they've been going to therapy. I've changed. I love you. Clarify this twin flame energy, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Gifted child. Let's get one more. Clarify this twin flame energy. Okay, we got two. Complex situation, bottled up emotions. And we have download. So someone here, either this is your twin that has gifts or your twin views you as someone who has gifts. They may see you as somebody here who is has some form of gifts. I mean, clearly you are connected to spirit, right? We just had that conversation and this person knows that um, the fact that this person has some bottled up emotions. They're having. A, yeah, they want to talk with you. Hmm. You might be you might come into a situation collective where you have an opportunity for closure. What's the sneak attack energy? Robbery. You see what I'm saying? Somebody here wants to come in this wolf's with sheep's clothing. They want to take something from you. OK, this could be money. This could be energy. Whatever this is, spirit is saying, watch out for people who are manipulative, just trying to get ahead or just trying to use you 
you know, just just pay attention to people who are being deceitful and, and in the energy of greed, because I feel like somebody wants you to believe that they are someone who they are not. Sorry, I hit the mic. You know, <clears throat> show me the sneak attack energy. Who is this? Who is this? Ooh, that's too many, but okay. I told you, you got new love coming in here. David's key and animal spirit. You might be seeing, feeling connected to a specific animal. Okay, birds. We've already talked about a red cardinal. For some of you, a dog. Or for some of you, could be like a cat, a white cat specifically. Um, this card is saying that you may even have a pet as a spirit guide. Uh, you know, you have a spiritual connection to a pet that you have. And David's key, it says, I will place the place on his shoulder the key to the house of david what he opens no one can shut and he shuts no one can open so you may have a, a pet around you protecting you and you don't even know this pet is like a trusted um spirit guide or they're protecting you i told you y'all had somebody new here and then you got somebody um from the past this is good i feel good about this new person yeah Wait a minute. Let me let me pull one more energy. Can you show me more about this wolf in sheep's clothing? Wolf in sheep's clothing. Thank you. This wolf in sheep's clothing entanglement energy. OK, entangled in a karmic bind. Your efforts to break free seem only to tighten the knots. This challenging cycle suggests that the more you struggle, the deeper you sink. Consider a different approach. Embrace acceptance and seek understanding of the lessons in this situation that it offers. Sometimes stepping back and reflecting leads to the breakthrough needed for liberation. So this is you walking away from somebody that may have had you in some form of complicated, fucked up situation and this person for some of y'all could have been a soulmate for others of you could have been a twin okay but this person was in wolves and sheep's clothing separation you're not with this person you've walked away from them so there goes uh confirmation for you yeah i feel like somebody here has some bottled up emotions they're they're really sick over the fact that you're not talking to them and you walked away from them let's see what this other card was rare heart this person knows that you have a heart of gold collective this wolf in sheep's clothing knows that you have a heart of gold but they feel like they're going to be able to take advantage of you but they're not because you've already walked away it says having a pure heart filled with love brings you closer to your deepest wishes yeah kindness and sincerity hmm. yeah this person is missing that heart of gold i don't mm, 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 mm. All right, so show me um, for my collective that's walking away. What is, what's going on with my collective that's walking away here? Show me what's, what's going on with the collective that's walking away. You got a new love coming in. You got somebody from the past that doesn't want to let you go. They know you have a heart of gold. What was that? Yeah, walking away. That's you. You could be a Scorpio. This is energy of like, yeah, I'm transforming. I'm ending this and I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I've transformed myself. Yeah, look at you. Doing the shadow work, healing, Virgo energy. This is strong. I did shadow work like you just working on yourself, self reflecting. Now you have all this wisdom. You know who's for you. You know who is not for you. You are fully, I feel like, connected to spirit. For Ooh, and the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant, Taurus energy. You are fully connected to spirit right now. You, you are. You might even be experiencing a spiritual ascension right now. Yeah, you are. Spirit says, yes, you are. Six of Wands. Wow, this is success and victory. You're like, whatever my next move is, is going to be my best move. That's what I feel like. And you might be real quiet right now. You may not be. You might be in hermit mode, just spending time alone, reflecting, figuring out what you want to do next. OK, you may be getting some attention um, of some sort, but this is six of wands is victory and success. Somebody could be on a public platform. I feel like you went from like. I'm quiet being at home to like maybe being out. Show me the collective that walked away that this energy, please. Not a wise. You stay strong, vigilant. You stay strong and vigilant. Mm -hmm. The collective. 
Look at this. Eight of Cups. Somebody really from the past doesn't want to see you walk away, but you're going to walk away. It, it took you all the strength and the courage to walk away. That's what the Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, and Eight of Cups energy is. It took a lot of strength for you to walk away. Show me more here after this Eight of Cups for the collective. High Priestess in reverse. Show me the collective. Somebody don't want to let you go. Four Pentacles. Somebody don't want to let you go. Mm -hmm. This person that had you in all this conflict, or, or this could be you in conflict. Either way, this could be inner conflict, but I really strongly feel like this is somebody else that doesn't want to let you go. They don't want you to be in these gifts. High Priestess in reverse. They just want to hold on to you. They want to hold on to your energy. They don't want you to be connected to spirit. They don't want you to trust your intuition. <clears throat> Show me more for the collective that's walking away, please. There goes that strength energy, Leo. Good. Like I said, you're strong. You have the courage. Energy of the collective, please. Five of Cups. I feel like, you know, it wasn't easy with this Five of Cups energy. It, it, it hurt you to have to do what you had to do. But you knew what you had to do, right? You had to stand up for yourself. Show me the collective's energy, please. Ooh. Something fell on the floor. Eight of Swords. What fell on the floor? The Page of Pentacles just fell on the floor. I ain't picking it up right now. Uh, Page of Pentacles fell on the floor and the bottom of the deck is the Emperor. This is somebody new that wants to come towards you. If you're stuck in your head, like, did I make the right decision with this Five of Cups and this Eight of Swords energy, stressed out over the choice and the decision that you made to do what you needed to do for you and walk away from this past person or walk away from maybe multiple people, multiple situations that didn't just work out for you because this this... This death and rebirth and hermit energy tells me you let go of you let go of multiple things. You're having some form of spiritual ascension and it took a lot of energy out of you to do this. Um, but there's an emperor that wants you. OK. Let's see. What's the seven of wands about? <laughs> That's you blocking people protecting your space, protecting your energy, make sure you, uh, okay, I'm getting an energy of like, you know, do you not trust people, trust people as easily as you used to anymore, make sure you don't have your guard up, okay, because it's not about, it is about protecting yourself when you need to, but collective is also about being able to open up with the right people and using your discernment, okay, um, show me this new love that's coming in for the collective here, Holy Spirit. This new lover coming soon for the collective. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Who 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 said what? Who said what collective? I, who cares about the past? Who said what spirit said? Two of cups. What? Hmm. Show me this new person coming in. So we know what the Two of Cups is. It's a partnership, okay? It's an equal, balanced partnership, okay? Someone you can build with, someone you can grow with, someone that is going to want the same things that you want. You see eye to eye, you're on the same page, okay? There, there's harmony. There's balance. There's emotional availability here. Show me this new lover coming in for the collective. What is this seven of swords and a justice energy? What is this? Oh, no. I don't like that. Show me this new person coming in for the collective. Gemini energy. What's this seven of swords? What's this seven of swords? Mm, five of Pentacles. This could be somebody from the damn past. <sighs> What's the Seven of Swords? Um, clarify this justice. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So you are about to get your justice. You're going to have a choice in between somebody from the past that was like a liar. Just, yeah... You're about to have a choice. 
Mm-hmm. Make sure you're setting the right boundaries with the right people, okay? Because there is somebody from the past that really wants to come in and talk to you. There's somebody here who feels like they they were just, they lied. You know, the Seven of Swords and Justice is giving me like, yeah, you're a liar. Um, there's somebody here in your energy that's a liar. And now they're in this Five of Pentacles energy. What's this lover's energy here? The Nine of Pentacles. What's this lover's energy? The Page of Swords. I feel like somebody's watching you. This new person could be somebody that you don't know that's been watching you secretively here. Somebody's been real quiet. And they see you in this Empress and Nine of Pentacles energy. You know, I'm going to tell you this. I feel like you may get a lot of attention from several people. But like I said, all these options are not going to be the best option. I feel like this is somebody's energy from the past mixed in with somebody else's energy from the past. So just make sure that you choose wisely Four of Cups energy and the Three of Swords. Because I feel like one, one of these is not going to be a good option. Or this is somebody else in this Four of Cups energy and this Three of Swords energy. And they're going to be upset and mad that you don't choose them. So just be wise with your choice, okay? Show me this page of wands energy. The ten of swords. Somebody's about to get some news. Somebody's about to come towards you with some news here. And I don't feel like it's good news, but you have your, ba your back facing this. You're not even paying attention to the. This is telling me the person, this is the person that just lied, cheated, did whatever they did that was deceitful. What's this page of wands energy? Page of wands. The seven of cups again. And the two of wands. It's like multiple choice. Multiple choice. Which one do I pick and which one do I choose? Do not choose the wrong person. You know what the right person is. Have patience. Don't settle for somebody that you know hurt you in the past and you're not, you don't trust them. And you have reason not to trust the person from the past. But like, make sure you're being, using discernment with this new person too. Can we know more about the new person, please? Spirit, can we know more about this new person? Thank you. Ace of Cups. New love. You see what I'm saying? There's this person from the past that wants you to be in this confused energy. You're going to have to make a choice. I feel like it's multiple people. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. This new person is going to know what they want. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups. They are going to know what they want. They're not going to have you in this Two of Wands, Seven of Cups energy. Ten of, ten of, ten of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Hell no. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I feel like the person who had you in this energy wants to talk and you turned your back to them. Mm, no, you just, you have. Okay, let's move on. Um, Let's see. Let's get some more clarity real quick on the person um, from the past. Show us more about this past person, the wolf in sheep's clothing. What else does the collective need to know about them at this time? Make sure you guys hit the like button, please. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Wolves and Sheep's Clothing Energy. Thank you. Yeah, this person is, is real good at sending mixed signals. Real good at sending release and surrender energy. Okay. And we have hard on the outside, soft on the inside. And that came out in reverse. Take it slow. And then reflecting in reverse. So this person has not changed. Like I'm telling you, they really haven't changed. Be careful about what this person is hiding from you or what they're telling you that may sound good, but it's, you know, it's not, you know, show me more about this person. That's being dishonest with the collective. Yeah, I keep saying that mixed signals. That's what I'm saying. Like this person still wants you to, it's still complicated with the person from the past. They haven't changed. 
they still don't know what they want or they still want their cake and eat it too to be over here with this person and over there with that person. They still don't want to let you go. They don't want you to let them go. They want you to continue to be an accessory to something here or a supplement to a relationship, you know, just so they can keep you around and keep you stuck. Messages and dreams. This person is, might be trying to communicate with you telepathically. You may be having dreams about this person. This person could be having dreams about you. The great pretender. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm spirit. Thank you. Come all the way through. Acts uninterested, but stalks you. And they do. And also, too, this person is getting ready to pretend that they have changed. They just want you to be confused and they don't want you to move on to this other person. I, the audacity. What else? This person don't even know what they want in their own life. Goals just came out in reverse. Okay? This person don't know what they want. And paranoid. L listen, somebody here... <laughs> somebody here might suffer from... This is not funny. From... Anyway. They might be a little obsessed with you. Yeah. Don't even know how to react. Testing the waters and what the F. Okay? Seeing how far they can push you. This person might come back and they just want to test the waters to see if they can still, if they still have you the way they can have you or like they had you in the past. Progression, slow progression. This is slow, slow moving energy here. Okay. This person might come towards you and be like, let's take it slow. You know, um, this time we can take it slow. We don't have to rush it. No, this this person is just going to drag that on. You cannot trust them. Show me more about this testing the waters energy and progression. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ulterior motives. I told y'all can't make it up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hiding something. Flip flops changing up on you. You see what I'm saying? That as soon as they get what they want from you or they they can as soon as this person can confirm, oh, I still have the collective exactly where I want them, then they just going to change it up on you and the real true colors are going to come out. That's why spirit is warning you. Blown away, sudden rush of emotions for you. This person's going to come in love bombing, emotional, and just just so they can see how far they can go with you or how far you'll take it or will you take them back or, will, or you know, I just, yeah. Mm -mm. <sighs> anyway, what else do we have for the collective? What else does the collective need to know? Other than this past person, what else the collective need to know? Mm hmm. A change in the wind, that's you changing your mind, moving in another direction and not being afraid to do so. Yeah, good for you. Envy, somebody is about to be really upset that you are changing your mind, okay? Keisha Cole, I changed my mind. I don't love you no more. I'm just saying this person's not going to be happy about that, about you moving in the opposite direction. Time for a nap. <laughs> I feel like you don't want to talk to this person. Show me more for the collective. What else other than this person from the past? Spirit wants you to get some rest. The sun card, a lot of happiness energy, strong Leo energy out here. You can have Leo placements, um, but good happiness. Okay, get you some rest. I feel like dreaming right now. Is going to be very significant for you because I feel like you're getting messages through dreams when you go to sleep. You spirit may even be telling you this person in your dreams, this person is not for you. Okay. And you know, this person is not for you on the bottom of that is man holding a coin. They could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Can we know something else other than this person from the past, please? For the collective future energy for the collective. 
spirit said, listen, it's time for you to go. You might be traveling somewhere. There's a, some of y'all might be moving to a new city. You might be traveling somewhere you've never, ever been before. You're really, really excited about it, or you're feeling led and pushed or guided to go move somewhere new. Um, that could also be in your future here. You're definitely headed down a new path, a totally different direction. Exchanging gifts. <laughs> Yeah, show me more for the collective cornucopia and contract. You guys are about to 1111. You could be seeing 1111 here. OK, cornucopia is about abundance. It's about wealth. It's about being in nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy. OK, this is great, great Whatever this is con with this contract energy, y'all might be getting ready to go somewhere and get something that's about to make you really happy. This could be a contract, a new job, a part, a new partnership, right? Whatever it is, like we said earlier, is going to be very balanced because this scale and this card is balance, balance, balance. Okay, good. And this falling directly underneath the sun card too. spirit might be telling you to also to rest and relax before you move into this energy because you might be like really busy here. Mm -hmm. I feel like this gift or whatever is getting ready to happen is about to be a surprise. It's going to surprise you here. Spirit is about to pop out and be like, surprise, this is for you. Somebody here could be getting a surprise gift. Or there could be a surprise contract or something here for you. Ooh, bottom of the deck is door to value. I'm telling you. 31, door to value. Y'all are getting something good. Caring connections too. Look at this. Walking away. Listen, just know if you continue to push forward, walking away is the best thing for you to do. A change in the wind is what you need to get out of this funk. It's exactly where you're supposed to be. Keep pushing, keep moving forward. I don't care who they are, who they were, who they used to be. They haven't changed. Don't let them detour you. Okay. Nobody can keep you from what is yours. However, you know, so, sometimes we can get delayed. So don't allow that to happen. I love y'all. This was your reading. It was beautiful. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all next time.